die in. Or shouldn't die in, at least. <laughs> Fireball. Ready, set, go. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering. The ruler of darkness. Of course you do. You're looking kind of pale, dude. Maybe you should get some sun. Oh no, I fell down. And I'm stuck with this grumpy dude. <laughs> Slide? Pretend that's Mega Man 3. <laughs> For a little bit. Hello? Inputs? Oh yeah, I wanna... I'm invincible! Slide, 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 slide. Oops. Don't jump, Josh. Jumping is bad. Run. Tapping is hard, man. If you ever have a double tap directional input in your game, maybe think of having a different input in your game. <laughs> what? Why did that do so much damage? Okay, that one doesn't count. Rip. Mulligan, yeah, exactly. Ready, set, go! It's a little bit like Metroid. Like, after we kill Cerberus, we're gonna kill Dracula. And then we're going to be so high level that everything is just stupidly easy. But until you kill Cerberus, it's very dangerous because the magician has terrible stats. Which is why I should really be using baby strats and doing Pluto Unicorn the whole way, but, you know. That's slow. So we tried it the fast way, now we're gonna try it the safe way. Yes, very safe. Many safety. Nope.
That's a much better way to do this. Good job, Josh. That was weird. I had like a super slide with the first one there. Why was I sliding? Running is faster. It's fine. be able to make it from there. That's pretty easy to dodge up to that point, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to save. <laughs> I'm wasting wastes time. the dog a bone. Really? Thank you. <laughs> Dead. thought I, I played this game a ton as a kid this was my first Game Boy Advance game and I played the absolute crap out of it like I did all five classes max leveled the fighter it was my game for sure but I never wanted to speed run it because I had this worry that I would have to figure out what level I need to be and which enemies to kill and so on and so forth. But the magician run just exploits the crap out of everything. And it's not like that at all. I literally will not kill anything except a boss throughout this entire run. At least I don't have to. I mean, I might. Oh, what am I doing? So now for the fun trick. I want... What is it? Diana? Diana Cockatrice. Diana Gollum? Diana Gollum. I know what I'm doing. It is Diana, right? It's not. It's Apollo. There we go. <laughs> not far enough. Basically, we're going to sneak into Dracula's room and then kill him the same way we killed Cerberus. Because he doesn't even know we're here. I think it takes three big bones, but you do enough damage that you can actually get away with two. Or is it three and four? I think it's three and four. And Dracula's dead, so we're going to level up for a bit now. <laughs> I'm a minute behind. What? Hmm. 
I think we get 23 levels. There we go. And then a cutscene. And if this were any percent, we would just go right in and kill Dracula. We wouldn't have even gone for Cerberus, though. But since this is not any percent... <laughs> This is all bosses. We have to go fight all the other bosses. Starting with the third boss. We beat the first boss and the second to last boss, so the obvious next step is to beat the third boss. Health is kind of low, though. I'm gonna, um... Try to remember how to do anything? What? It's Uranus, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna heal up a bit, because I'm scared. I don't know how I would normally heal on the way up here. But I am worried about getting to the next save point, so we're just gonna... Little bit of safety saves. Never hurt anyone. I'm gonna do this again. passage is ordinarily blocked by the item we would get by defeating the third boss. But not after the first room for some reason. It's like they knew that this glitch was a thing. But the scary thing is, we don't have the item from the second boss. And if I fall down in that room, I can very easily get soft locked. Uh, Diana Mandragora. I knew that. <clears throat> And ordinarily, the golem is... Takes a lot of hits. He's not terribly difficult, but, uh... We're way over-leveled. So, he's <laughs> kind of a pushover. <laughs> Do not forget clock. Okay. I also shouldn't have gone all the way to the right side, because that makes him walk further. Oops. I should add that to my notes. That's not the clock. That's the clock. We're gonna need that about half an hour from now. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you would break through that block, but we haven't killed Necromancer yet, so we can't. Nope. Really? Lame.
be extra careful here not to fall down, because we can soft lock on the way back, too. It's great. Baby strats. Bad habit to press A there. <laughs> I mean, it's a good habit casually, but terrible habit for a speedrun. This is also the wrong way. What am I doing? about my health, but annoyed with the knockback, so we're just gonna do this. really tight. That was bad. Wait, is it easier to do it? I don't know which one is easier. They're both pretty hard. Because that one's really far and the other one's really close. There we go. Now I have to jump over so I don't hit this transition and then... Drop to the second exit and not fall, because then I soft lock. Oh. <laughs> Until we've defeated Camilla, if uh, we fall off one of those edges out of bounds, there's just no way to get back. Try the risky strat first. That's the wrong thing. You. Well, the risky strat did not pay off. I forgot that I should have saved before doing the risky strat. It's a good thing I accidentally saved this. <laughs> It's fine. Just gives us another chance to figure out this part. I really don't know how to quickly and safely get through these skeleton bombers. This is where we do the safety save. Still quite far from the boss, but you know. If we get the Necromancer with a big bone, it 
kills him in one hit. We don't even need the second phase. So it is totally worth a try. Okay. Safe strat it is. Sad face. Unicorn chicken. Much safer, but also much slower. <laughs> beaten the second boss, we kind of do the rest of them in order. <laughs> Although we get to this one backwards because we warped up where we weren't supposed to go. This is the way we were supposed to come up. stuck here for such a long time. I thought it actually was an eternal corridor. But it's actually not that long. If you just avoid everything. <laughs> when you stick around and try to fight that you run into trouble. There's a message in there somewhere. And now my favorite part, where we get to warp like four times in a row. All at different heights makes it extra fun. Really? There we go. Not that one. This one I was supposed to go right. Fine. We got here eventually. There we go. And 
this when I drop down, and then we do it one more time. Then we slide off the edge. To here. That skips so much. It's ridiculous. Unfortunately, we can't skip it on the way back down. But, uh... Falling is a lot easier than climbing. Well, faster. Not easier. Diana Griffin. I don't know why I did that. It turns it off at the cutscene. Some of the boss fights you can turn on beforehand, and some of them you can't. Not easy to keep track. This is also the only boss where you're forced to walk in if you touch the door. Because normally if you touch the door, it just opens the door. And then you can walk in if you want to. But this one, because there's a cutscene at the door, they have you walk in at the end of the cutscene. It's weird. I don't know. I guess because if you were still out here, then Hugh would still be out here. Also, also, I always thought he was pointing a gun at Nathan at that point. His finger looks like a gun. <laughs> Like, whoa, dude. Which, I mean, maybe he is. But he doesn't have a gun later on? Or at least he doesn't use a gun. And now we fall all the way back down. Down and down and down and down we go. <laughs> Oof. That was suboptimal. Because everything else I've done so far has been super optimal. I don't like how low my health is. But it's fine. Maybe. It might not be. I'm just gonna act like it is. Ow. Okay, it's probably not. We can be invincible. I don't know if I can be invincible all the way to the save point. Maybe, though. I mean, the whole point of getting the timer was to be able to go through this room without doing this. Which I guess, if I'm gonna use the save point to refresh my mana, I don't really need to do that. Because the only reason not to do it this way is to save your mana. Then you don't really need all of it for the dragon zombies? I don't know. <laughs> uh, chicken dog. Get one in one go? No, of course not. 
Whoa. Whoa. Excuse you. You are not supposed to be that aggressive. <laughs> really? I only got one? Wow, okay. This is fine. Yep, totally fine. Yeah, I barely used any magic for that. Weird. Oh, also split. Camilla! Yes, this is the hard one. Really? Second step of second set of double stairs. I'm going the wrong way. Jump upright for early switch. Okay. That's the save point. What are you doing? The second one. It has a door, Josh. <clears throat> so the water in here is quite deadly, because we haven't killed death. That's a sentence. Also, these icy guys will kill us in, like, one or two hits. I think it's two hits, but the first hit freezes us. So, uh... And this is a skip if I'm low enough. Ooh, that was close. That wasn't close, I died. Did I save? Before necromancy. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um... Maybe I, I should save at the save points. That might be a good idea. At least before Camilla, like that. Uh. It's fine. We only lost like 20 minutes or so.
I was doing so well, I was only four and a half minutes behind. That's the wrong way. Demonstrated the danger of the ice armors. I'm not entirely sure how I could have even prevented that. Because I need to fall down there after I hit the switch. And I can't hit the switch if I have the invincibility on. And I can't switch the invincibility on until I've landed. So unless it's like frame perfect. Probably a jump. Did I ju double? I double jumped to hit the switch though, so I don't get another jump. What am I doing? Summon. That's not at all what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Hello? Can I do this? Oh, you can't do it while the... You can't do summons while the clock is running. Oh, you can't do summons when your DSS isn't enabled, doofus. <laughs> God. <laughs> what? Oh, I was standing on the sword. <laughs> so confused. And now I'm going to die. Wait, isn't this a save point? No. It's the next one. And at this point, it'd be faster for me to just walk up there.
Okay. <laughs> Fine boy. This is quite a time loss. <laughs> it's probably more significant than the time it takes to save. Probably. I'm not entirely sure, but I get a feeling that it would have been faster to save. to remember to split at the end of Camilla, too. Because I'm doing so many bosses without splitting. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Did I slide? Because I can. Nope. Oh, my health is better this time. Somehow. It's weird. I can't imagine the dragon zombies taking longer than they did last time, though, <laughs> so... Very aggressive pattern for no particular reason.
can't do this for input anymore. My thumbs are just like, no. Every time I do a summon, either the, uh, the monster attack summons, that's not right. Or the ones to do the warps, it's down, forward, up, and B. And it is really, really finicky. Really? How are you not dead? <laughs> now he's gonna go off screen again. Finally. And the uh, warps are frame perfect, I think. Close to frame perfect. It can't be actually frame perfect, because I can do them. I can't do anything that's frame perfect. <laughs> but they're pretty precise, because you have to hit the attack as it's as Nathan is connecting to the uh, exit and before it starts the transition you have to do the summon so you kind of buffer the down left up and then jump and then you have to hit the B at exactly the transition but if the B hit is too long after the down left up it uh refuses to actually do that summon. And that's when you see me just whip. And if I don't get the down left connected to the up, that's when you see me throw the timer. So, lots of things to go wrong. Fifteen minutes. Wow. Was it worth the risk? No, it it was not worth the risk. That's really scary. I don't like that part. <laughs> it switched before Waterfall. Oh, this one. This area, I was probably stuck in longer than the Eternal Corridor. Very confusing maze of switches and stairs. Water. <laughs> Although the water is not a problem if you've cleansed it. It 
supposedly you can get Camilla with the Diana Griffin. But I've never managed to get it to work very well. So we're gonna go with the summons. I can also get her with a couple bones. I'm sure as hell not trying that. I am also going up here to save. Because I am a wimp. And I have learned my lesson. Maybe. For now. Chicken Unicorn. After she blabbers for a bit. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, chaos, blah, blah. Blah, 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 new world, blah, blah. Blah, blah, my master, blah, blah. <laughs> That's the dialogue in summary. Can we do the thing? He's gonna run into me and it's gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage. <laughs> did I call it or did I call it? Good thing I saved, huh? I should probably do this. Yes, that's smart. Save early, save often, kids. Unless you're absolutely certain. Oh, yeah, that counts, doesn't it? Thought that one didn't count, because I predicted it. <laughs> Go to your safe space. Then summon the chicken. Be a chicken, summon a chicken. If we're lucky we get her in three. If we're unlucky, we die again. <laughs> Even intentional deaths count? That is true. All deaths count. Oh, crap. Why are you still alive? This. This. This? Yes. That was close. <laughs> Please be dead. Thank God. One good thing about this game, when the boss dies, the projectiles die. That was only, uh, 17 minutes over. It's fine. Now we don't have to worry about soft locking when we go out out of bounds. Now that we barely need to do that at all. <laughs> Dying after you killed the boss is frustrating to say the least, yeah. I'm looking at you, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Oof. My 
supposed to teleport? Why don't I have instructions for how to get back quickly? That's not the fast way. I guess not. There's no fast way to get back there. Wait, that would have been faster. Maybe. Yeah, that definitely would have been faster. Why do I do Hugh next? Why is it not death and then Hugh? Oh, because death is on the way to Dracula. That's right. Okay. I have many questions. Yeah, this just dumps us out at the top, right where the freaking teleporter is. Oh well. I ask myself that every time. I should probably put it in my notes then. I mean, really, I ought to do Hugh before Camilla. But the, uh... Oh no, because you do need the rock wing in the one spot. There's one room that you can't get through without the rock wing. You can get, like, halfway through... ...this area... ...just using warps. Which actually I should be doing, because they're faster. Uh, there's one room that you have to rock wing up. I don't remember how I got up here, though. I did figure out a way to get... Oh! Right, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, this is gonna be slower and kind of stupid, but I should practice doing it the right way. <laughs> I, I wasn't supposed to drop down. <laughs> Simon says games on the walls. Uh, yeah, sure. That could be our new head cannon. Uh, yeah, so I need to get right up next to this place and then do this sideways into the transition. It's really awkward. There it goes. That gets me up here so I can. Save. I could have skipped the save, but I'm gonna save, it's fine. So we can get here without the rock wing. We can get to the end of the corridor, but then... You need the rock wing to get up here. There's no other way. But then the rest of this you can do with double jumps and wall jumps. So if not for that one room... Because I think you can... I don't know about here either. You might need it to get through here. Skipping saves has done me so much good. I know, right? It saved me so much time. 
but why would I waste precious time on saving? And that's... There is no save before Hugh, so that's our last save way back there. But if I have my timing right here, I don't know why I'm healing. I'm gonna use the skeleton and die in one hit anyway. <laughs> that was silly. It's time to dance. Nice. I don't know why I kept jumping. It's harder if you jump. I should not have been jumping. <laughs> nope. Too far. Come on. One more. One more. There we go. That was really scary. If he goes past the end of that red carpet, he shifts modes and starts going like kill Bill on you. Oh yeah, he's dead. Hey, gold split. <laughs> yeah, lose 20 minutes, gain two. Kinda how it goes. That's today in a nutshell. Maybe it'll be better tomorrow. No guarantees. How do I get to death? This is the right way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Had a little brain fart there. It's fine. We gotta go through the Triumph Fork hallway. This is the fun level with all the box puzzles. I knew there was a way to do this. <laughs> this one's just completely skippable. Did it right in the first place. <clears throat> did that, and did that, and then push this guy over. And break this, and do this. This is the only one that's actually like a puzzle. All the other ones are broken. Actually, no, I think the last one might also be pretty consistent. Or no, this one. This is the one I was thinking of. This one pretty much works the way they intended.
doing. It's the next one that's totally broken. You're supposed to have to like I pushed that too far. You're supposed to have to push that one with all of the blocks and things. But you can just do that and do it with two boxes. Because physics don't exist in Dracula's castle, except when they do. Uh, what? Summon cockatrice, please. Thank you. Sometimes I get this one in one go. Sometimes I don't. I don't know why. There's also one where Diana Griffin is supposed to be the thing to do. I'm not entirely convinced that this is faster than using the summons. Especially since I'm going to die. It's fine. It might be slightly faster than the summons because of the switch. The switch takes quite a bit. Oh wait, we don't need this. <laughs> that just cleanses the water for Camilla. <laughs> we don't need cleansed water because our water isn't thing of the past. Uh, no. Split, yes. Good idea. If this is a magic refill, that's health. Okay. Kind of want my magic to fill up. Just a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, I can do this now. <laughs> Duh! Is this one a magic refill? I can even find it. By the time I find it, my magic will be full. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, that's health again. Don't have a way to attack upwards. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Extra health. <laughs> I think this is health too. Yeah, why are all the health refills over here? Weird. I just didn't want to go back to the save. probably should have so that I could have saved, but you know. You know me, I don't like to save. Nope. 
Lasers. It wasn't the lasers. It was the comets. <laughs> okay. At least that fight's not terribly difficult. <laughs> There's not really a good place to save either, because like if I go back to this save, it's not even that much faster when I die at Dracula. I feel like they did that on purpose. Jazdo Fija Fajaf? What does that mean? Is this a new language that I don't know? Let me do this, it'll be faster. It's not faster. Why didn't I end up on the ceiling? What just happened? What? <laughs> Let's have that ready just in case. Oh yeah, I'm high level magician. I could probably just turn that on anyway. I have so much magic. Like, doesn't even use any magic. <laughs> Come on, big bones. Yeah, big bones. Nice. Just need one more. Can we have lasers again, please? No. No lasers. Lasers? That's not lasers. Do those go away or do I actually have to destroy them? I actually have to destroy them. Hey. Good to know. <laughs> lasers? Nope. Lasers. Yes. Big bone, big bone, big bone, big bone, big bone. Thank you. That was difficult. Oh yeah, I learned a new trick. Why am I not using my new trick? My new trick is faster. Hypothetically. But also more dangerous. So maybe I shouldn't use my new trick? Ah, 
I have learned absolutely nothing from this run. I don't think it's actually any faster. It's just fancier. And it's what you have to do if you don't have the rock quick. that all the way over there. It's gonna hit him like twice if I'm lucky. Oh god. What? <laughs> How did I end up inside him? Let's not use that quote out of context. <laughs> uh. Plus two deaths? Why? Oh, because I died? That's a good reason. I think it stays after the teleport. Yeah, no. Wait, is that lasers? Yes. Really? That was kind of scary. Quick run, he says. It'll definitely be under an hour, he says. I don't need to have any saves, he says. almost got me. Oof. And then I almost jumped into Dracula. <laughs> uh. No. Mathematically possible. Oh, 
<laughs> She's definitely against you here, yeah. It was too good the second time. Was that two now? Two down, two to go. Maybe I should have run fighter. <laughs> a sign from the universe that it's mad at me for not running fighter. Two in a row? Really? I have never had the RNG this bad. Thank you. One more. Oh, there we go. It finally took mercy on my soul. Now, let's not do anything stupid this time. As if that's possible. <laughs> Given that I lost 15 minutes to dying to Camilla, and I'm only 20 minutes over. <laughs> uh, sub 47 sum of best, though. That's something.